Hello guys, welcome to my yet another course and this time it's a big C project. So this is a networking project in which we will going to implement a typical network protocol from scratch in C. This course has been designed with the objective to prepare you to work in core networking in industry. As you can see, networking is the ocean of networking protocols and few of which are listed on the right hand side. When you will be working in the industry in telecom domain, you will be working on one such networking protocol. So having an experience on how protocols are designed and implemented will give you a good kick start to begin your career in the telecom industry. Therefore training you guys on actual core networking development with industry level complexity involved is the objective of this course. So needless to say, this course is not for beginners, this course is for intermediate developers at least. Let me take you through a quick tour on the overview of this course so that you can take an informed decision whether to enroll in this course or not. So the aim of this project is to cycle you through the experience of end-to-end -end implementation of a typical network protocol. You will be writing lots of C code to implement a typical network protocol and its features in this course. You will be designing, documenting and implementing various new features. So note that when you join an industry, it's not like that, that you will develop protocol from scratch. You will be a part of the team where you will be maintaining an existing protocol altogether and building new features on top of that. So this course will be a rehearsal of what you will be doing when you will be joining industry and working in the networking domain as a developer. This course covers many things. For example, it will going to introduce you to the world of asynchronous programming, timers, packet parsing, etc. You would learn how to use external libraries, see and understand alien code. So this is what you will be working throughout your life once you start working in the industry. You would have to understand a code which you have never seen before, meaning the code which was written by your ancestors in the same company. And then you will not have to only understand it, but build on top of it. All right. So you need to develop any skills to actually understand an alien code and how and how to use external libraries in order to develop your feature. This course will project a focus entirely on solving networking core problem. You will have to think, design, implement and analyze the solution. You would see your implementation solving real world networking problems through this course. So this course is basically a rehearsal of what you shall be doing as a software engineer at core network companies. In this course, you will be doing the same design and implementation as a typical network protocol is implemented in the industry on a device. And of course, you would get a chance to decorate your resume with an impressive project like this. So this project is challenging. I'm not saying that this will going to be a cakewalk for you. The scope of this project is endless and expected lines of code that you will end up while finishing this project would be around 20k plus. So after doing this course, you will be able to understand how network protocols are implemented on a network device, understand end-to-end -end development of a network protocol. A typical implementation or development of a network protocol involves many things. For example, you would have to write various command line interfaces in order to configure your protocol as well as you need to write various show command line interfaces in order to display the protocol state and know how your protocol is working. In a typical protocol development, engineers do implement new features incrementally. Your protocol must react to the configuration changes which is done by the administrator through CLIs or otherwise. Your protocol should react to common admin actions such as when the admin shut down the interface of a device or changes the IP address of a device. All right. And your protocol must be able to perform packet processing, update protocol data structures through packet processing, etc, etc. Since we will going to pick up one typical network protocol and implement it end to end. So in this course, you will get a chance to implement complex protocol state machines and networking algorithms. 
And not only that, you will be get a chance to work with timers. Timers forms a very integral part of the networking domain. In fact, you can say that networking doesn't exist without timers. Timers plays a very essential role while implementing a typical network protocol. And needless to say, it is a big project which only involves development in C programming on Linux platform. Therefore, you will spend a lot of time in debugging and troubleshooting code to resolve various issues. So this course is a challenging course and it will going to test your patience as well. And of course, as I mentioned before, this course would add another feather to your resume. Now, let me discuss quickly that what this course is not all about. So this course is not a learning programming language or data structure course. This is not a socket programming course and you would not be writing any socket programming in this course. All these things has been abstracted away from you and you will only focus on writing a code networking logic in order to implement a solution to a problem. And this course is not a Linux system programming learning course. I expect that the audience of this course must possess the following qualities. This course is for those audience who aim to become core developers in networking distributed system or system programming side. This course is not for those seeking non-development roles, right? So anybody of you who is a non-developer or looking to seek an opportunity in the industry for a non-developer roles, this course is absolutely meaningless for you. This course is purely meant for developers. This course is not for those who are still struggling with basic data structures and basic C programming concepts. So you are still struggling with inserting a node in a link list and all that stuff, then please excuse this course. I would say this course is for working professionals or job seekers or those who are looking to change their domain of work to networking development or this course is simply for learners who are starving for knowledge. And of course you have to be patient, you have to be fighter, you have to be a challenger in order to successfully complete this course. And finally, what are the prerequisites of this course? You must possess a very basic knowledge of L2 and L3 networking concepts. For example, you should know how does ARP work, you should know what is routing table and how router actually route the traffic using layer 3 routing table. If you are struggling with these basic networking concepts then of course this course doesn't make much sense for you to enroll. And you have to be a good with C programming. You should be excellent with pointers and pointer automatic. You must understand memory manipulations in C programming. You must know how memcpy, memcmp and byte layout in the memory happens for a C program. You must know what multithreading is, what is typecasting and basic data structures knowledge such as linked list and trees you must know. You will not going to implement any of these data structures from scratch. I would provide you pre-cooked libraries of linked list trees etc etc. You only have to invoke the interface APIs of these libraries and get your work done in this course. And if you fulfill these prerequisites then the rest I will take care from here. Right? So guys, good luck and see you in the next section where we will going to kick start with this course.